What's all the fuss about? Whoa! I found a treasure map in the attic, Baba. A real one. Oh, my. This takes me back. I drew this a long time ago, when I was Shigwa's age. Oh! Really? I had no idea it was so old. Old? Can you take us to find the treasure, Baba? Please? <laughs> I'm way past my treasure hunting days. Besides, whatever I put in that hiding place is probably long gone. But I want to go anyway. Oh, Shigwa, you're too little to go on a treasure hunt. You'd get lost. No, I wouldn't. I just can't imagine you being young, Baba. Huh? Tell me the truth. Do I seem old to you? Of course not. Your coat is almost as shiny as the day I met you. Almost? I really wish Baba would take us on that treasure hunt. Should we ask again? Not now. We're fixing this old kite. You want to watch us fly it? I always have to watch. Why can't I hold the string? You're too little, silly. <laughs> That's not true. I'm not a baby anymore. Shigwa, huh? time for your nap. <sighs> I can't wait to grow up. Do I really look this old? <clears throat> All I need is a little dab here and there to make this old coat shiny again. <clears throat> Notice anything? Why, you've done something to your fur. It looks, um... Different. I feel great. Four years younger, at least. That's good. You'll need all that energy to finish writing these scrolls. Ah, oh, my work can wait. I feel like playing. <laughs> to Baba's hair. You know, I used to be pretty good at this when I was your age. <laughs> Whoa. That was really good, sir. Oh, don't call me sir. I'm not that old. What do you say? Are you up for a game? I don't know, Baba. We play pretty hard. What? You don't think I can keep up? <clears throat> not bad, huh? Ow. What are you doing? Hi, Fufu. Sogo and Dong was kind of stuck. I'm going to get it down. Hey, I'll fly up and knock it loose for you. No, it's a grown-up job. That's why I want to do it all by myself. I think it's coming loose. Whoa! Wait, I got gotcha. you. I've seen lots of backflip kicks before, but never followed by a landing on your head. Oh, embarrassed. Okay, who's ready for... Uh, more? Um, what about the scrolls, Bubba? Yeah, shouldn't you be getting back to work? Who wants to spend the day working when we can spend it playing? Ow. Oh. Oh. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm not a kid anymore. Heads up! Huh? Sogwa's kite down from the tree all by myself. With just a little help from the wind. Pretty grown up, huh? Now can we go on the treasure hunt? The treasure hunt? Of course we can. What a fun idea. Um, are you sure you feel up for it, Baba? Are you kidding? I've got my second wind. Leader, I'm the leader. I get to go first. Fine with us. Yes, I remember. Frog Rock. See? That means we're on the right path to the waterfall and the treasure. I'll fly ahead and survey the area. Okay, troops. Keep in line. Follow 
coming. Sogwa, I can do this by myself. Okay, okay. I was just trying to help. You guys want to learn a neat huh? trick? It's a duck call. <laughs> oh, sure, Bubba. Like a duck is ever going to think that's real. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try. <laughs> that sounded more like a baby duck. Great news. The waterfall's just ahead. We're almost there. Come on, guys. Let's hurry up! Whoa! <laughs> uh. This is definitely the place. The treasure's down there, inside a tree. If you're going to stay leader, you better get in front of them. But it's a very nice rock. I found it in an old tree stump. We couldn't <gasps> find a secret hiding place in any of the trees. But we did find a plum tree in that field over there. Can we go get some plums? I'm hungry. No, it's late. I think it's time we head home. Wait, that's the old Baba talking. We don't want him around, do we? Yay, plums! No, you better stay here with Fufu. We'll bring some back. Oops. They're treating me like a baby again. It's not fair. Mm. Fairies! I'll show them I'm grown up. Maybe this isn't the best idea. Just have to get to that next rock. Whoa! <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! I'll lift you up. No, I'll get out by myself. I better get some help fast. This was a lot easier years ago. A little help over here! I <laughs> Sorry about that. It's Shigwa. I think she needs you. I can get to her, Baba. No, Dongwa. I need your help. We need to get this branch into the current. All together, push! <laughs> I'm here. What are we going to do now, Papa? Don't worry. We'll still manage to get down. Hang on tight to me. <laughs> See? Everything's okay. I think I tried too hard to be grown up. I know how you feel. I think I tried too hard to be young. Baba, look! My hiding spot! <laughs> when I was your age, I couldn't wait to grow up too. So I hid my kitten collar, hoping everyone would stop thinking I was a baby. Wow! Really? 
When you're ready to take off your collar, you now have a special place to hide it, too. Hmm. I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. No need to rush. But I'm proud of how you tried new things today, like being the leader. That's exactly how you do grow up. And you know what, Baba? Quacking like a duck is a good way to act like a kid. <laughs> amazing back there. How did you know to make a bridge with the branch? Well, knowing things is the benefit of being old like me. Not such a bad thing after all, huh? Papa, I don't want to be the leader anymore. Can I ride on your back? Sure you can. <sighs> this is one thing I hope I never get too big to do. A flower. It makes me feel so happy just looking at it. Oh, I think I can almost smell it. Mmm. Don't be silly, Shigua. It's just a drawing. And by the way, it smells like paper and ink. Well, I still think it's beautiful. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. It's just a picture and not even a good one at that. Shigua, stop it! Yeah, cut it out! I was gonna give that to Shigua! <laughs> oh, my beautiful flower! It's ruined! Look what you did! Hey, don't blame me! You guys ripped it when you tried to grab it! We did not! Oh, yes, you did! My beautiful flower! What's all this noise about? Dongwa made fun of me when I said how beautiful Saltless painting was. Yeah. He said it was just a picture and that it was ugly. I did not. Yes, you did. And then he ripped it. I did not. I'm surprised that you didn't see the beauty in Sagwa's drawing. But it's only a silly old picture. A picture is not silly, and it can make people feel many different emotions. Art is very powerful. Now this is powerful. Yeah! <laughs> well, yes, it is. But that's a different sort of power. Huh? Well... Perhaps I should tell you the story of one of your most powerful ancestors ever, the legendary Ming Miao of China. Did he do gum food too? No, Donghua. He was an artist. What? Once upon a time, there was a young cat named Ming Miao who had a great talent for drawing. But more than just being beautiful, Ming Yao's paintings had an incredibly magical quality. His drawings actually came to life. Whatever he drew became real. Ming Yao had a very good heart, and so he only drew good and beautiful things. The word of Ming Miao's extraordinary talents began to spread across the land. <laughs> Cats and people from all over the countryside flocked to see his paintings and drawings spring to life.
and he continued to do only good things with his precious gift and talent. It seems that the emperor had also heard of Ming Miao's talents, and he wanted to see for himself just exactly what all the fuss was about. So the guards put Ming Miao in a cage and took him off to the emperor's palace. And for the first time in Ming Miao's happy life, tears streamed down his face. Why was he crying? Well, wouldn't you cry if a bunch of guards came and put you in a cage? And took you away from your home? Poor Ming Miao. But once he got to the emperor's palace, he was taken to his very own room. It was filled with a thousand colors of ink and more blank scrolls than Ming Miao could count. He cheered up. <gasps> the emperor must love paintings too, he told himself. He continued to paint his lovely, magical pictures. But the emperor was evil. And he had other ideas. He wanted Ming Miao to draw horrible cyclones to destroy his enemies. <laughs> and that wasn't enough even bigger sandstorms to blind his foes. Once the evil emperor realized the tremendous power of Ming Miao's drawings, he could not stop himself. And he forced Ming Miao to draw one horrible catastrophe after another. Lightning, firestorms, floods, even sharks. Sharks? Yes, even sharks. Mama, how could it be that Ming Miao was forced to do such evil things? Yeah, what an awful end to such a great story. Not so quickly. Ming Miao did not want to draw these evil things. So instead, he had to come up with a plan to distract the emperor. He drew a fantastic sailing ship for the emperor with tall masts and gigantic sails. The next day, Ming Miao presented ah. the drawing to the emperor, who oohed and awed over the magnificent ship. And right before the emperor's eyes, the incredible ship magically began to come to life. As it sailed through the air, the ship became bigger and bigger. Well, as you can imagine, the emperor was amazed. He could not believe his eyes. My, my, said the emperor. With this fine vessel as the flagship of my mighty navy, we will never again lose a battle at sea. And so, the emperor boarded his new ship. The emperor was so taken with the ship's gigantic sails that he failed to notice that Ming Miao had not drawn a rudder, a ship's wheel, nor any other way to steer the ship. No, the emperor was so greedy that he could only admire the vast size of his amazing new ship. And of course, he couldn't wait to take it out to sea. And no sooner were they all on board than Ming Miao drew a strong and steady wind, which blew the ship and the emperor and his imperial guards straight out to sea for many hundreds of miles. Now, as we already know, Ming Miao was good and not cruel and evil. So he had drawn fruit and vegetables and food and Ooh. drinking water on the ship so the emperor and his guards would not starve. <gasps> And several hundred miles offshore, Ming Yao drew a lush island, which sprang to life right in front of the ship. And that is where the emperor and his imperial guards landed. And after they had landed on the island, 
Ming Miao drew a gigantic ring of rocky reefs and shoals around the island so that the emperor and his guards would never be able to leave. So for the rest of their lives, the evil emperor and his guards lived on that island with more than enough food and fresh water to live a full life. But far, far away from the people of China, whom they could have harmed. What happened to Ming Miao? Well, that's a very interesting question. I suppose he could have remained at the Emperor's palace, where he could have ruled China, couldn't he? Mm -hmm. And he could have used his art to control the people. Mm -hmm. No, Ming Miao would never have used his art for evil. He would have never done that. My goodness, Donghua. You have been paying attention. And yes, you're right. Ming Miao would have never used his art for evil. Instead, he returned to his home. Back to this very village, where he continued to draw only good things. <laughs> where he became the official cat calligrapher to that province's magistrate. Just like us! Well, yes. How do you think we learned to write and draw? It's been passed down from generation to generation, ever since Ming Miao, all the way down to the three of you. So you see, a picture can be very powerful. Yeah, but mine don't come to life, and neither do Sogwas, or Shigwas. But they still have power. Was that really a true story, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.